Go on, turn the pitch. Come on. Come on. Have you considered all the alternatives? What? Abortion? Adoption? Being packed off to an art in Essex? I was grown up enough to do something. Got to be adult enough to face up to the consequences. And it's not the baby's fault, for God's sake. It's mine and yours. Why should the baby get punished? So what do you want from me? I want you to tell me what you want. I might not agree with it, but I think I'll just take it into consideration. I can keep your money. Then I don't want your bloody money. Is that why you think I asked you here? I don't want anything from you. I just want to know what you want. If it's what you want, and you think you can cope, then I think you should have the baby. It's going to be hell for us bumping into each other every day in the square. Then don't you get Barbara Carland on me. It's not Romeo and Juliet, you know. This is just a one-off. I'm going to have to watch the kid grow up. And not come near me. Or talk to me. Or interfere. You won't say a word? I'm not about to blow the gaff on you if that's what you're worried about. I don't want anyone to know, ever. So you don't have to worry about that. Ooh. Got any kids of your own? Not even from your fancy woman. What? Oh, come on, Dan. The whole square knows about that one. She is not a fancy woman. Her name is Jan. She's very beautiful, very affectionate, very warm. And we talk a lot. And my whole world will fall apart if she ever left me. Sometimes I think the whole human race is cracked. No. Nah. The human race is a bit sad, that's all. It's very easy to get yourself trapped. And no, we haven't got any children. This will be your first. Thanks, Dean. For what? First person who's listened to me for weeks. If you ever need anything. Don't worry. Yours will be the first door I'm on. I'm going then. Yeah. I'll give you a lift. Oh no. I'll take the bus. It's more my style. You sure? I'm sure. Pardon. There's no rush. I want to go. Bye. Yeah. Punish. <laughs>